surgeons transplant pig's heart into human for first time. Union Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh launches artificial intelligence AI driven startup by IIT alumni for water purification through innovative technology. And January 16 to be celebrated as National Startup Day, says Prime Minister Modi. I'm Nidhi Kumar, and you're watching Science Time, a show that brings to you the best that science offers from exciting developments in science and technology to futuristic solutions. Let's move on to story number one. In a medical first, doctors transplanted a pig heart into a patient in a last-ditch effort to save his life and a Maryland hospital said that he's doing well three days after the highly experimental surgery. While it's too soon to know if the operation really will work, it marks a step in the decades-long quest to one day use animal organs for life-saving transplants. Doctors at the University of Maryland Medical Center say that the transplant showed that a heart from a genetically modified animal can function in the human body without immediate rejection. It was either die or do this transplant. I want to live. I know it's a shot in the dark, but it's my last choice, Mr. Bennett said a day before the surgery, according to a statement provided by the University of Maryland School of Medicine. Well, the team will monitor Bennett closely in the coming weeks to ensure long-term benefits from the procedure. Their medical milestone undoubtedly lays the groundwork for a new generation of animal-to-animal -animal human organ transplants known as xenotransplant and directly addresses the organ shortage crisis. To conduct the life-saving operation as a last resort, doctors genetically modified a pig's heart to increase the chances of Bennett's body accepting it as its own circulatory control center. Without such modifications, non-human-to-human -human organ transplants carry risks like triggering severe and sometimes fatal immune responses. The Food and Drug Administration, which oversees xenotransplant experiments, allowed the surgery under what's called a compassionate use emergency authorization, available when a patient with a life-threatening condition has no other options. It will be crucial to share the data gathered from this transplant before opening the option to more patients. And let's move on to story number two. Union Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh launches artificial intelligence driven startup by IIT alumni for water purification through innovative technology. Union Minister of State, Independent Charge Science and Technology, Minister of State, Independent Charge Earth Sciences, MOS, PMO Personnel, Public Grievances, Pensions, Atomic Energy and Space, Dr. Jitendra Singh launched artificial intelligence driven startup by IIT alumni for water purification through innovative technology on 11th of January. The facility aims to provide clean drinking water at a price much lesser than the market price. Speaking on the occasion, the minister said, the artificial intelligence driven startup initiative should be motivating for other startups as well. A MOU was also signed between Technology Development Board, a statutory body of Department of Science and Technology, Government of India and MS Swajal Water Private Limited, a tech startup company founded by ex IITNs based in Gurugram. The company is focused on innovative technologies to make reliable clean drinking water accessible to communities at affordable price for their project on IoT enabled point of use solar water purification unit for slums, villages, and high utility areas. Dr. Jitendra Singh welcomed the financial support extended to Swajal by TDB and said that the ministry is committed to reach out to potential small and viable startups having skill and talent pool but lacking resources. The minister asked the CEO and co founder of Swajal, Dr. Vibha Tripathi, to scale up this technology to help achieve India's ambitious target of providing clean drinking water by 2024 as envisaged by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And now let's move on to story number three. And India is going to celebrate January 16 as a National Startup Day, the Prime Minister said on Saturday. To make the culture of startups reach the far-flung parts of the country, it has been decided to celebrate January 16 as National Startup Day, the Prime Minister said while addressing startups across the country. He said, and I quote, in this decade, 
The decisions being taken by the government for innovation, entrepreneurship and startup ecosystem have three major aspects. Firstly, entrepreneurship to free it from bureaucratic silos. Secondly, innovation institutional mechanism needs to be developed. And thirdly, hand-holding young innovators, unquote, said Prime Minister when he interacted with over 150 startups on January 15th to boost the startup ecosystem in the country. Startups from various sectors including agriculture, health, enterprise, systems, space, industry 4.0, security, fintech, environment are a part of this interaction. The Prime Minister's office in a statement said that more than 150 startups have been divided into six working groups based on themes including growing from roots, nudging the DNA from local to global, technology of the future, building champions in manufacturing and sustainable development, and as a part of Azadi Kamrit Mahotsav, a week-long event and celebrating innovation ecosystem was hosted by DPIIT, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, from 10 to 16 January 2022. The event marked the sixth anniversary of the launch of the Startup India initiative. And with this, this is a wrap of this edition of Science Time. We'll be back with more interesting stories from the world of science next week. Stay tuned to India Science. Namaskar.